G'day guys, it's me Jono, and uh, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to butterfly click faster and be able to aim at the same time. Also, if you enjoy this video and you end up learning something from it, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 600 subscribers, and the support from you guys has been crazy recently. Now with butterfly clicking, one thing to note is that you're not always going to be clicking 20 CPS in a duel or in a fight or whatever. You'll end up clicking a bit lower than what you can click just stationary. And that is because you've got, to, you've got to also account for aim as well. Now the first tip with butterfly clicking is you want to have a bit of a higher sensitivity. See, I have a, a long desk mat, so I can get away with a bit lower sensitivity. But a high sensitivity is generally what you want. I remember when I used to jitter, I would have a sensitivity of about 400 dpi and like 25. And I would be moving my mouse like this. With butterfly clicking, you're not... You don't really want to be moving your mouse off the mouse pad as much, only because you cannot, it's a bit harder to butterfly click while your mouse is in the air. So you want to keep it, you want to keep your hand on the mouse and on the mouse pad at all times. So generally having a high DPI and sensitivity is probably best. The sensitivity that I have is 69 and the DPI I have is 800. And so that's why, that's why I get these really nice smooth movements. But if you have a smaller mouse pad, maybe try higher sensitivity. And if you have a bigger mouse pad, maybe try a bit lower sensitivity or whatever you feel comfortable with. One thing I know that people have a lot of issues with when butterfly clicking is how to actually grip the mouse. So gripping the mouse when butterfly clicking is not really, you're not really gripping the sides of the mouse as much. If you have a lighter mouse, you can get away with just having your hand on top of the mouse and moving it like this. But gripping the mouse with your pinky and your thumb is generally not advised because what it does is it puts strain on the top of your hand right there. Um, if I, if you try just right now putting fingers together and then moving, that's a lot harder than doing that. You can get a lot more speed just moving like that. Whereas if you're doing, if you've got your fingers together, it's not going to be as fast. So generally, what I like to do is I like to rest my hand on top, and sometimes I put my thumb. I like to just have my thumb resting on the side a bit. Um, I still have access to my side buttons and that, but I like to have my thumb just resting. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I do just let go of the entire mouse when I'm, when I want to get that 17 CPS and that, but, um, generally I, I have my thumb on the side, ooh, generally I have my thumb on the side just for aiming and that. It's all about gripping the mouse in the right way. Depending on your hand size and mouse size, it will change how you actually grip the mouse. But just general rule of thumb, don't put your pinky on the mouse. It's, it sucks. It really sucks. So if you don't have a mouse that can double click, I recommend just skipping to the next step. But if you do, stay for this. So if you have a mouse that can double click, I recommend checking to see if it does, because this will help a lot with getting higher uh, CPS. When double clicking, a lot of times when people have a double click mouse, they try to double click and they go like this. And they're like, oh, why am I not getting, why am I not getting high CPS? And basically it's because of the way you actually click the mouse. To get the best double click performance, you wanna rest your whole finger on the mouse like that. That's what I found works best for me. And then after you do that, you try left click with the other side. So see here, two clicks as well. Uh, whereas if I was just to double click normally, it'll only click once. And basically after you do that, you wanna, you wanna practice just clicking with one finger first and getting that double click down. And then try with the other finger and then slowly alternate. And then after you get that down, pretty much just speed up and you'll end up getting like, I'm not, I'm not trying right now, I'm getting, what, 16 CPS. It's all about just getting that double click technique down. Also, when practicing um, butterfly clicking, I had this issue as well. Basically, where my fingers would collide together like that, they would like stick together. It would like inhibit my performance to butterfly click. And what I've, what I've done, I, I tend to use the edge of each mouse button. Sometimes I might not get a double click on the on the pointer finger, but I tend to use the edge of the mouse button, and if I need to, sometimes sometimes there's a little bit of crossing going on, but I generally like to keep my fingers split apart and as far apart on the mouse button as possible, because what that does is that allows me to move freely and get high CPS. Now, you can also use this on the left, on the right mouse button. I'm not as good on the right mouse button, but you can. And when double clicking as well, you wanna listen out for the sound. I'll play the sound right now. There's like that double, there's like that buzz sound and that's pretty much just double click. And so putting it together, clicking with your fingers far apart 
can get you that high CPS you want. If you can double click, you can get even a higher CPS. And having your hand rest on the mouse and not having any fingers attached to it will allow you to butterfly click a lot more freely. And even just putting your thumb down as well for support helps a lot as well. One more tip which you can do is you can go into the settings of your mouse if your mouse has like um, an application. I know Razer Synapse is one. And um, for this, the glorious Model D software, if you have a Model O, it's the same software pretty much. But if your mouse does have software, what you can end up doing is putting your Y, your y sensitivity lower. And what that will do is that will prevent you from going up and down as easily as you go left and right. And so when you're aiming in first person, one problem people have when they're aiming is trying to actually keep their hand on the target. And so putting the, putting the Y sensitivity down will make it a lot easier to aim on the target and give you a bit more leeway when moving your hand so that when you move, it stays relatively flat. But this step is optional because when you're PvPing, sometimes my pe people might go above you when they jump around you and that. So having a lower Y sensitivity might, may, might make it harder for you to do that. And my final tip is just practice. Um, I know, I know everybody says practice, practice, practice makes perfect, but it truly does. Um, I remember when I first started butterfly clicking, I only got around 9 CPS. I would get 9 CPS and I'd be like, hey, why can't I click faster? And over time, over time, putting my fingers further apart on the mouse and clicking like that, I, I can definitely get a bit faster CPS without even, without even trying. So yeah, let's put it together and I'll see you in a Jules match. Okay, so we're in a match of OP Jules. I've been playing OP Jules recently. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna just show off the butterfly clicking skills. Look at this. We've com we're absolutely comboing this kid. Oh, as I say that. Okay, I'll gap too. Actually, no, I don't need to. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not lifting my mouse off my mouse pad. And that's, that's for the reason that if I were to, yeah, see, we just won. That's, that's because if we were to lift the mouse off the mouse pad, that gives them an opportunity to get in because we were not clicking faster than the opposing side. Okay, so we're in another game. Pretty much, in my opinion, movement is half the battle of dueling. I cannot aim with my bow whatsoever. Movement is half, oh my gosh, what is this kid's reach? Lol. Movement is basically how you get insane combos, um, but butterfly clicking. If you can click faster than your own, if you can click faster than your opponent, that's what that's what gets you the advantage. So if you're trading hits and you're clicking faster than your opponent, like there, then you end up winning that fight overall. Okay, one more match just to show off. Okay, I wish my brain was- Oh, fudge, I hit him, I hit him. Okay, that's Pog. That's super Pog. Rightio. I still can't believe- Oh, wow, this kid's actually gonna roll me. This kid's Rick rolling me. This kid's Rick rolling me, huh? I can't even see his health, dude. Okay, I should gap. Okay, gapping did literally nothing. Look at this. <laughs> Crazy combos. Anyway, so if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.